We're going to change this uh, ATV tire. It's a 12 inch tire with a fairly gnarly tread on it on a perfect aluminum rim. I've broken the bead and locked the wheel into the changer like I've described in our other videos. First thing we do is lubricate the side of the tire with the spray. Be sure that that gets down in there. And I'm going to use the mount team up bar, insert it in at 7 8 o'clock, turn it, and I'm going to draw the bar up while I push the tire down in the relief valley. You push it down, the bar pops up. Then I flip the bar over. I move the post into position. I'll remove the first half of the tire. Raise the post, swing the arm out of the way. And just like using the bar techniques, this tire should remove fairly easily with the same technique. Then we're ready to install our new tire. To mount our ATV tire, first I'm going to use the tire loop paste and I'm going to wipe it on the ridge and into the relief valley on the rim all the way around the top here. It's going to allow that tire to roll into that relief valley. I'm also going to take the lube paste and I'm going to wipe it just on the very inside edge of the tire. Keep the bead seat area dry. Force the first half of the tire on. And then I take the same paste and I wipe it between 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock referencing the back post as 12. That's going to help the last part of that tire pull itself over the rim. Center up the post. I'll insert our mount D mount bar. You'll notice on this tire the bar over here is actually going to hit on some of these paddles on the edge so I'm going to help myself out and get a little lubricant on those paddles that's going to help that bar slip around the top. Now we need to really force that tire down in the relief valley. Get it pushed way down in there then I'm going to start to push the bar around. You'll see the tire rolling into the relief valley. That's because we lubed the rim. And you'll pop that tire on like it was nothing. 